Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Another day of perspective. Um, it was a bit of a shock this morning, to be honest. Uh, I've got a very close friend in the Philippines. Um, and the, the first thing I want to say is that some of these people you become very close with, uh, literally family. Um, without the actual bloodline um, because you're in the same situation you got same ideas same way of life um, similar thoughts on things so you become very close um, now I hadn't heard from my friend for a while um, he's quite an interesting guy um, him and his wife run a medical mission uh, basically they fund from their own money um, medical missions. They will, they'll go into a village and treat the local population uh, with medical supplies and stuff that basically comes off their pensions. Um, they're, uh, they're religious, but not in... Because this is the funny thing is people know I'm not religious, but at the same time they see my perspective. Um, there's a lot of people I know that are religious, but also see the frustrations of corruption and other problems in some of these religious organizations um my friend's one of them um we actually meet up and chat about things and he has the same frustrations um but basically you get free medical care and at the same time um they will talk about religion etc um which i find that's fine you know i've got no issue with that whatsoever they're actually doing a lot a lot of good in the philippines um they're really good people um so what's today's news well this morning's news was basically the they've been on the ferry disaster in Ormoc, um off Leyte. uh basically within about less than 10 seconds the vessel had capsized and from being on the top deck they were about 15 20 foot underwater um having to basically fight for their life and swim swim before they drowned um over 30 people have died on the same vessel but they lost most stuff um, i think basically managed to leave with pretty much just a mobile phone which was in a um watertight bag around uh, my friend's neck um so it was a you know this morning it was a bit of a shock because these are really really good people um, but it shows these things happen to anybody but I also know that um, the strengths they have within themselves they will recover quite well um, they're they're really amazing people um, and they've lost all their computer equipment everything they had on the boat but I know they'll get there but it was just a real shock this morning to find out that uh, so close to losing some very good friends. Um, it's not the first person we've lost in the Philippines, or being close to losing. Sorry, they they didn't they weren't lost, but um, but it just shows that life is not here forever um, that's why you need to live it enjoy it do what makes you happy do what enhances your life because you never know what's around the next corner um, I'm just glad they're safe I'm glad they made it um, out of the water um, and they the other funny thing on this uh, this disaster happened six days ago but virtually there isn't anything on the media except now that I've mentioned it, you'll be able to find it. Because it didn't hit any news as far as I'm aware, internationally. Um, the UK is obsessed with this uh, Tunisia attack at the moment. But it gets all this political stuff. You know, it, it concentrates on ISIS, all this, this attack, this attack. But there's so much more going on in the planet. Um, mm. But yeah, it was a bit of a shock. really was. Uh, but I'm just glad they're safe. Thanks for watching.